Okay, in this video, we are going to show you a tutorial of how to download and use the Social Vehicle Lister, the tool that will help list your dealership's vehicles directly on Facebook Marketplace within seconds. Okay, so you will be getting emailed when you sign up a link and that will take you directly to the Chrome Web Store. Uh, now, in the Chrome Web Store, you'll see its social vehicle lister. You'll see our icon. It's the little marketplace icon with the blue, black roof, and it has a little red car in the middle of it. Now, you can download this exen extension on both Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome. For this demo, I'm going to use Microsoft Edge, but they're very similar on both of these. Once you go here, you're just going to click either Get or Add to Chrome. Uh, you'll see it will pop up a box. You're going to want to click on Add Extension. And uh, once you add the extension, you will see you, uh, another box is going to pop up asking you to sync data. Typically, you don't need to do that. Just close the box. Now you're going to see up in the right corner uh, a little icon. It will typically look like a little puzzle piece. It's your extensions icon. If you hover over it, it will say extensions. All you do is click on that and it will pull up all the list of extensions that you have installed on your computer. I want you to go and find the one entitled Social Vehicle Lister, and to the right of it, you're going to see an icon that is either an eyeball or a pin. You want to click that. What that will do is it will pin it now to the top of your toolbar. So when you want to run the tool, all you need to do is literally just click on the icon and it will pull up this box. Now when it pulls up this box, you're going to notice a handful of things. We'll discuss that here. You're going to first want to start by entering the API key that will be emailed to you. The API key is what will enable the tool to work. I recommend that you paste this in here. Do not try to copy it or, or just type it out because it's such a long digit. If you get one of the digits wrong, the tool will not work. So paste that in here. And then once you do, just click load vehicles. Once you do, you're going to see uh, down here all of the vehicles that your dealership has that are going to pop up. Very, very simple. I typically like to, to view more than five at a time. If you see rows per page at the bottom, I usually click 100, and this will show a big list of the vehicles. Now, uh, once you see, you'll see uh, photos, a little preview of the vehicle picture. Now, this is important because when you click on it, it will show you what photos the dealership has for uh, this particular vehicle. If it's blank, you don't want to hit post to Facebook because if there's no photos, uh, then this is not that's not what you want to do. Uh, next uh, thing you're going to want to do before you post this vehicle is you're going to want to add a listing description. Now what I typically recommend is um, what you could do is just type in here if your name is Bob we're going to type in call Bob and then you can put your phone number if you want uh, up to you um, or most guys will type in something um, whatever they choose a long different list of different things this listing description is going to get saved and it's going to automatically put that into the listing description of the uh of the facebook marketplace post the emoji box up here you have a few different emojis you can choose from typically i like to use fire um, and this emoji is going to get inserted into the title which will help you uh, get a little bit more traction and make it stand out a little bit more. If you do want to add the stock number in the listing description, all you do is click add stock number and it will do that for you. Uh, also on the tool, you can do a search. So if let's say, for example, I am searching only for, uh, I'm looking for a specific make. Um, if I type in um, whatever I choose to type in, let's say I'm looking for BMWs only, it will pull up all of my BMWs that I'm looking for, um, or if I'm looking for a particular year, uh, I could type in a, a year of a vehicle. Let's do uh, 2021. And you'll see it'll pull up uh, those years. You can also do stock number as well, um, which kind of is really helpful. Uh, you just click on the stock number one, and if I type that in, uh, it will just pull up whatever's in that string for the, for the stock number. Uh, makes it nice and easy um, to be able to find a very specific vehicle if you're looking for a stock number to post. But for the sake of this demo, let's say I'm ready to start posting. All I do is I would literally click the post to Facebook button next to the vehicle. What it is going to do is automatically open Facebook Marketplace. And what it will do from here is it is going to start filling out the form. 
So you will notice that the, what this tool will do is it is going to automatically start uh, to do this uh, list this vehicle on Facebook Marketplace. Let me go back to this here. Typically, sometimes for the first time that we post a vehicle, uh, you might have to close this and reopen. We'll do that one time here since I just downloaded this. We'll hit load vehicles. Let's post that uh, Mercedes Benz. You'll see it's going to open Facebook Marketplace and uh, then the tool will start triggering. So if it doesn't fire the very first time, just close Facebook Marketplace and then uh, reopen the tool and then post it. The very first time that it runs, just like I just showed you there, uh, that's typically how, how this works. So if you noticed, that's how fast it loaded all the photos. I can literally now post this vehicle right then and there. It just took a few seconds. Once uh, this is you click on this post uh, to Facebook, you'll notice what this did to the tool. It changes this button to already posted. So uh, if you goof up and this doesn't post, if I click on this again, it will repost it, just so you know. But let's just look at what this tool did. If you notice here, uh, it put in the information of the vehicle. Now let's say I don't want that first photo because I don't like the overlay. All I can do is I can literally delete that and I can actually drag a different photo on the front if I choose to. Um, in here, this is where the emoji gets inserted and then we, we put the, the miles directly into the listing itself, which is really helpful because now this listing will stand out above all the other listings. Now you can see here, it put the stock number directly into the description as well automatically for me. So very, very easy to use. Now I'm ready to, to post this. I just hit publish and then go through the next page. And then uh, when I'm ready to list another tool, I just open up the tool again. I would hit, hit load vehicles and I find my next one and I would hit post to Facebook. So uh, very, very valuable tool. This will help you get plenty of leads, fresh leads and save you a ton of time. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. We'd love to help.